None of these critters can do it. But this one can. Most species of gecko can climb walls and walk along ceilings upside down. They don't fall off because they have very special feet. The electron microscope images show that they have millions of tiny hairs on their toes. And on the tip of each hair, there are about a thousand even tinier whiskies with tips shaped like spatulas. Weak molecular attractive forces called van der Waals forces between the hair tips and the adjacent surface are the secret to a gecko's adhesive power. Geckos can also detach the hairs and reattach them. The adhesion doesn't diminish over time. Stanislav Gorb studies gecko adhesion. At the University of Kiel, he and his team are also investigating the adhesive power of beetles' feet, which are similar to those of geckos. How fast does the ladybug have to spin before it loses its grip? We want to establish on what kinds of surfaces the adhesion is greatest and on what kinds it fails. Geckos do fine on nearly all surfaces. Their adhesion is good on almost all structures, with a few exceptions. A gecko cannot stick to the cloth on the left. Yet on most smooth surfaces, it can hang without any problem. Even with added weights, it won't fall off. It does fine on quite coarsely structured surfaces too. Gecko adhesion has inspired engineers and material scientists to develop new kinds of dry adhesives. Stanislav Gorb helped create gecko tape. It's an example of what's known as biomimicry. The structure of the tape has been designed to resemble that of a gecko's toe hairs. This particular gecko tape is washable and reusable and strong. It's attracted lots of interest in science and industry. It's always exciting when colleagues make use of the results of our research. Or they use materials we develop. Or explore new applications. At the start, we were not thinking about robotic uses. In this lab at the Ilmenau University of Technology, they build biomimetic robots. This one uses gecko tape to move sure-footedly on sloping surfaces. The gecko is the white material used for the tracks. It doesn't actually resemble a gecko's foot. Further evidence that real bionics doesn't have to be green and actually look like its models. It's about transferring certain principles. This robot could roam around on smooth solar panels in order to clean them. Such panels are usually placed high up on roofs. Cleaning them is dangerous work for humans. This robot cleaner walks on suction caps. Perhaps the next generation will walk on gecko tape and not leave any marks on the delicate surfaces. In this little device, a motor presses the foot against the surface, creating a vacuum and making the foot stick to the surface. It would take a lot of energy to pull it away. But if you do what a gecko does, it's easy. The motor pulls on strings attached to the corners of the foot and peels it away. This climbing robot has two such feet. In future, it'll be able to get around obstacles, but development is in the early stages. So is research into biological surfaces. 
We have used a number of techniques for the first time in biological systems research. Nowadays, those techniques are being used more and more in biology. I think this kind of research opens up new vistas for many exciting projects on investigating biological surfaces. Researching the immense variety we find in the natural world will yield exciting new technological solutions. And that is an exciting prospect.